What's up guys? Alright, um, let me say real quick, uh, that last video was kind of intended to be a joke. So, uh, lower your expectations a little bit, because I know I, I seem to have built up a lot of hype and may maybe oversold it. Because, I think, judging by the comments, unless, unless you guys were kidding, uh, you were expect you're expecting something massive, something like, I think I said, saw some comments that were like, expecting a 30 inch or like a 6 order band pass. But, uh, you know, it, it's nothing It's nothing crazy at all, it's nothing mind-blowing, but, you know, it's new, I was ex I'm excited about it, I love it. Um, that w and, uh, according to my channel, that was my 100th video, but I guess, according, like, I asked around, and from what it looks like to you guys, it's, that was my 99th. I'm not sure what happened with that other one, because I looked through them all, and uh, I have, and none of them are, like, private, or have been removed, so I, I don't understand that. So I thought it was my 100th video. So I decided to have a little fun with it, play around, play around with the new program that I have on my computer, and uh, yeah, I guess I decided to have fun and troll you guys. But I guess I you're not expecting something a little more. But it, again, it's nothing. It's nothing crazy. Uh, right now, I'm on my way to Fry's in Arlington, Fry's Electronics, for a competition. I'm gonna get it metered for the first time in well, this. I'm gonna get this system metered for the first time ever, but my car meter for the first time in like a year. I don't know, I'm hoping to hit maybe a 145. I don't know, I, it doesn't seem, it's not that loud because it's still really underpowered and the box it's in is not for SPL and metering, but uh, I'll show you that in a little bit. Once, once I stop driving, I'll give a little run through of the car and uh, like the future plans for it because I'm finally starting to work and actually gonna make money. So I'll be able to actually do stuff to my car. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Actually, I, I, don't, I don't know if I'll be able to demo it. I'm sure I will, but people are, people are saying that uh, people around the venue are getting annoyed by all the bass. So, I don't know. We'll see. I, I'm like five minutes away, so I'll, um, I'll just make another little run-through then. Alright, so I gotta make a video in here, because out there I can't hear shit. I'm screaming and I can't hear anybody next to me, so... Um, I just ran, but first of all, let me actually show you what I got. And uh, here it is. Boom. <laughs> Those are two, shit. Two Audio Q HDC 315s. Uh, the dual two ohm, the, the, the copper coil ones. And the box is tuned to, it's really tuned really low, it's tuned to 25 hertz. It's about seven and a half cubes. Uh, I wasn't really going for metering high at all. Uh, I was just going for sounding good and hitting low. And at the moment, it's still only running off of one 1200. Uh, Jorge, I, I, I don't know if he has a YouTube account. If he does, I'll link you to it. He um, let, he lent me my um, that amp back again. I traded those both those amps for the subs, but uh, until I can fully power them, I'm using this for now. And once he needs it back, I got a old school Crossfire CFA 1000. It doesn't sound too bad. It sounds slightly worse than the AQ, but you know whatever. Once I get money, I'm gonna get a. I want to save up for an AQ uh, 3500. I gotta get better batteries. And uh, I actually found a way to upgrade my alternator, which is weird for my car. I'll explain that later though. And right now I was in a Pro uh, 0 to 1500 class, because this was wired at half ohm. And I hit a, where is it? 145.6 at uh, 51 hertz. Not too bad, considering how low the box is tuned and how, much, how little power I'm giving it. But uh, right now, I, we wired it to two ohms, so I can run in the consumer class, so we'll see how that goes. I'll uh, keep you posted. Okay, so I didn't actually get footage of the second time I ran, but I ended up getting a, uh, at two ohms, a 143.1, I think. So, and it's still not that loud, but it ended up getting me second in uh, the consumer class. Got myself a nice little, nice little trophy. So, yeah. Um, I didn't actually get a lot of, I actually got like very little footage of the show because I was really busy with other crap. But um, here is the footage that I did get. Alright, this is uh, Josh's Crossfire 18. What 18 is it again? Crossfire XSV2. XSV2, 4 inch coil. 4 inch coil, Crossfire. Oh, yeah, I got the 500 under the box. I don't know if you can see it on this side. Underneath there? Oh, yeah. Damn. From what I've heard, this thing goes crazy low, so we'll see. 
Oh, and since last you've heard, I got that Crossfire VRA 200.4. Nice. So it's a different four channel. It's tuned to 33 hertz, you said? Yep, five cubes. Five cubes. Apparently he can play 18 hertz, no problem. <laughs> Got it all on there, so that way um, I can give it to you if you want. That's how you're looking for new music. And Jose. Yeah, I can do some. I can do some decaf. I'm getting, I'm getting lower than usual now. So. Yeah, that's that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm looking for. Demoing uh, while I'm sitting here in the parking lot just to show off the lows. Let's see. There's a little bit of decaf. I get low. It's at 25 and 29 hertz. Thank you. 